British people. Your media is contributing to our misery. Your country and your parliament is contributing to our misery. Your taxes are lying behind the buildings behind us. Why we are standing here this afternoon is because we have discovered that the dictator hides or runs his business, his financial business, in the, in the apartments behind us. Hear me, British people? If you take us to the Me. 
with you. That assembly that has taken place, 52 nations that make the Commonwealth, are going to meet in Rwanda. Why? British people, why? It has nothing to do with the refugees that are going there. It has everything with their compliance in dividing Congo. You may be wondering in the traffic what's going on. Why are we standing here? Behind us are apartments where your money is being laundered. Money laundering with our dictator. Happens in the, in the buildings behind us. Tell your media not to tell you lies. I have repeated. Rwanda is not a commonwealth country. Can you ask Britain why it has awarded the commonwealth meeting to take place in Rwanda? Because they have deals. Yes. Anytime a nation is at war, the international office issues a decree to stop funding the dictator. Stop funding the dictator. Stop funding the dictator. Oh, yeah. We know your business with Bishop St. Oh, yeah. We know your business with Rwanda. Right now, as we speak, British people, your Prince Charles is in Rwanda. 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 Your Camilla is in Rwanda. And as we speak right now, Congo is on fire. How come the Prince of England travels a country? That is so unstable. Right. That is a double standards. Double there is something going on in the Great Lakes region yeah. that your media is not telling you. That's right. The Daily Express reported that Camilla and Charles are in Rwanda, and all they told you was the press that you know are not telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christian let me educate you. Let me update you. BBC will not tell you. Rwanda has born Kagame. Museveni is the dictator in Uganda. They are being used by Britain to divide the DRC Congo. So that the minerals go to an unstable area and then they can take them out of that country. The same thing they did in Southern Sudan. Oh no! Stop funding the dictator. Stop funding the dictator. Your media BBC will tell you that Priti Patel is taking refugees to Rwanda. Those are just gimmicks. They are stunts. They are interested in stealing and dividing the minerals of Congo. You cannot tell me Congo right now is at war. The, the citizens have risen up. They are butchering everybody in the streets. There is Museveni has got uh, what they call classified budget. Trillions of money. A seventy to Congo in the guise of fighting ADF and a Muslim Islamic rebel group. Britain sends a lot of our taxes. And then the money comes back in the building right behind us. The building behind us, our dictator in Africa owns it. That's where all the money in Africa is being transacted and sent to Malta. Britain, stop your double standards. Yes. Stop funding the dictator. We want to go home. But how can we go home when you are part and parcel of the problems in Africa? So, the problem in Uganda is not NDF, and so they took a classified budget to Congo. It's NDF has nothing to do with Uganda. We have no schools, we have no medicine in our hospitals. We've been through a two year very horrible total lockdown COVID. And then people cannot afford food. We are told to go and wash clothes with some purple leaves because we cannot afford soap. But yet the dictator brings back the money and hides it in the property behind us. No, stop funding the dictator. The, 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 
the ADF, they are pretending to be chasing in Congo. They are busy constructing roads. They are busy constructing a, country, a new country altogether. Because they want Eastern Congo to be broken off the DRC. The same thing, the same thing that Britain was used Museveni to divide Sudan into Sudan and Southern Sudan. Because Southern Sudan has the oil and it has all the poor people, they are with God. People power. People power. Britain stop the double standards. I call Daily Express to tell the British public why Camilla and Charles and Boris Johnson are in Rwanda right now. Stop telling us about the dress of Camilla. Tell the British people why you are in Rwanda when it is considered on a neighborhood in Congo a very unsafe environment. You are telling us lies. People power. People power. That is our doctor. That's our doctor. She's a professional doctor. And she works in one of the hospitals here. She works in one of the hospitals here. She was talking about money from Uganda being shipped down here. Well, in Uganda, we don't have no hospitals. She's trying to highlight.